As clinicians, we know that sepsis is elusive, deadly, and expensive to treat. We also know that time is everything in recognizing the risk of sepsis. This is particularly critical to patients exhibiting vague or difficult to identify symptoms, including fatigue, abnormal temperature, and elevated heart rate. It is in these symptom presentations that the risk of sepsis can be extremely difficult to identify and start timely treatment, until now. Clinicians can now detect or screen for sepsis with the very first blood draw in adult patients presenting vague symptoms and initiate life-saving treatment faster. With the flip of a switch, early sepsis detection becomes a reality with the most ordered blood test. Monocyte distribution width, MDW, is a regulatory cleared parameter that helps clinicians determine the risk of sepsis by measuring monocyte variability. MDW has been studied for the past decade with more than 29 peer-reviewed publications and over 21,000 patients, confirming the robustness and reproducibility of MDW performance in different patient populations. So why monocytes? Monocytes are a type of immune cell, a white blood cell, that make up a large portion of the body's immune response to infection. They are often the first line of defense when a foreign pathogen enters the system. MDW is a measurement of increased monocyte cell activity in response to bacterial, viral, or fungal infections. MDW values greater than 20, together with the other laboratory findings and clinical information, helps in identifying patients with sepsis or at an increased risk of developing sepsis. By adding MDW to your patient assessment protocol, you can shift your decision point, raise your index of suspicion, and intervene sooner. When time to identification and treatment is everything, make MDW part of your protocol. Ensure every patient has access to early sepsis screening. Ask Beckman-Coulter about MDW today.